Hey, hi everybody, it's me again. And today's challenge is getting this big, heavy, 16-foot canoe from there up to there by yourself without killing yourself. Not an easy task. We sold our little 55-pound, 12-foot canoe um, and decided to get a bigger one because we have a bigger vehicle now to carry it. However, the thing is heavy. It's really heavy. So let's uh, see if we can devise a way to get this from the ground level up to the top with that uh, whole lot of work. That's the job. And this is the solution. We're going to use a simple machine called an in-kind plane and uh, use that machine to get the canoe up to the top here without a whole lot of work. I've taken two 2 by 4s three feet long, real inexpensive, cut blocks of wood out of another set of 2 by 4s and spaced them so that we can use this as a ladder for inching this canoe up into position so we can get it over the top. One of the things you have to do is secure the end of the 2x4 to the roof rack. So there's a little knob on mine and I just drilled two holes and ran some uh, boat, uh, light boat cord through it, hooked it over the knob and that keeps it from sliding out and falling off uh, the position I wanted in and down here you see I just use simple you know regular ordinary screws uh, to screw these three steps into the uh, 2x4 that's it and that Little devil is all there is to it. Very inexpensive, very easy to make, and it works. So now let's uh, let's use this for practice. We have a here. The thing we need to do is figure out where want to position this canoe on the roof rack before you start loading it up. Um, I have two oar locks here on mine that I use and I'll position the back one on the inside of this um, as my uh, unit of measure or um, marking spot. And the first thing we have to do is just flip this over. So let's flip it over on the rack. back a little bit, get that oar lock right where I want it. Next step is to slide the canoe up and lock the inside of the gunnel here to this first step. So I'll do that from inside here. You can position these steps any place you want them and put as many as you want. For me, that is not too difficult to slide up. A lot of the weight is being taken by the 2x4. And now that it's up here, what I can do is just one at a time step them up. Okay, so now we have the canoe 
on its top step. Look, the step riding underneath the gunnel. The way I have positioned these steps, and, and you can position the steps any place you want. In fact, it's best to try it out with a set of C-clamps to see what spacing and how many work best for you, for your vehicle and your canoe. What I'm gonna do is Now position this block, this first block, on the outside of the canoe. And it's really as simple as that. Get the canoe within a few inches of the top of the rack. Now at this point, with this on the third step, the inside of the canoe, the top part, is actually over top of the rack itself. And remember, those two knobs that are sitting on top of the rack, those are now holding in place and ready for me just to lift it up and over. And there she is. One canoe from ground to the top of this uh, big Jeep. I'm hardly breaking a sweat, and it's another just desolately hot day here in Florida. Now, the only thing that you need to make sure of when you're at the launching ramp or the parking area is that you have enough space on one side for these inclined planes to be set up. And as long as you have that, or you can get to an area where you can put these down, then um, you're good to go. Now, when I store these, when traveling, I just take them off. And slide them right up into the the boat itself and then just tie them down. And that's where I carry them. And then when the boat's in the water, I just leave these on the rack because nobody knows what they are. Nobody's got to take them. They're just two pieces of wood. So thanks for watching again. And uh, let's see what our next DIY project is going to be. Who knows? <laughs>